Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angeline Mojoy. If you're new to this channel, hello. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified anytime I drop a video. We are currently on the road to 10,000. Yes, yes. All right, so please make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Now, if you may notice, my background is a little bit different. I'm not in my kitchen today. Siko nyumbani, lakini niko nyumbani if you catch my drift. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a recipe, something I haven't done in a minute. Yani, I've really missed cooking. And I am going to be baking today. Yay! So for all of those people in the comment section who are asking me if I'm going to be sharing any baking recipes, the answer is yes. And it starts today. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I bake banana bread bananas are really healthy snacks they're rich in potassium and vitamin b6 yes really healthy nutrients for your body now when you bake them mix them with some flour some milk some honey or sugar some nuts oh my god it turns out mwah, perfect and i'm going to be showing you how i do that right here right now so again please subscribe turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified anytime i drop a video let's get started to start us off we are going to need three ripe bananas a point to note the riper the banana the sweeter the bread we'll also need two eggs bicarbonate soda all papas flour some vanilla essence brown sugar though this is optional i personally do not add sugar to my banana bread because please remember that bananas are natural sweeteners cooking oil and finally milk to put the ingredients together we are going to need a weighing scale a bowl a baking tin and a blender I begin by pouring in the three peeled and chopped bananas into the blender followed up by the two eggs I then measure 61.3 grams of milk which is equivalent to a quarter cup of milk and I got 62 pour it into the blender I then follow that up with two tablespoons of vanilla essence I then measure 65 grams of cooking oil pour that into the blender and finally I'm able to blend all the ingredients together Once I am done blending, I then measure one and three quarter cups of flour, which is equivalent to 220 grams or 221 grams. I then measure one teaspoon of baking soda, which is equivalent to six grams. And then now we mix the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients together. At this point, if you want to add nuts or chocolate chips, you can do so. This is what the butter should look like once you're done, not too thick and not too watery either. It is now ready to be baked in the oven. I have prepped my baking tin with cooking oil ready for the butter. This looks so good, I may end up making two. Ooh, magic, abracadabra. All right, guys, and that is how you bake banana bread. See, very, very simple. If you have ground nuts, if you have chocolate chips, you can also mix that into the butter before putting it into the oven. So for now, let me enjoy my banana bread. Until next time, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your, turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified anytime I drop a video.